can ride Space Mountain all night long for Edo. If you're 18 years old or over, you get on Space Mountain. You disclaimer. Yeah, but that disclaimer out there. Hey, the disclaimer. I am. <clears throat> Gotta be 18 or older, right? This just right. in case you guys. <laughs> just so you know. Just so you know. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> What's going on, Clutch? What? What up, what up, what up? It's your boy, Dub. your boy, Ross. We're in the Clutch. Hey. hey. Back to you, ladies and gentlemen, of the video today. You feel me? What made Ric Flair the most entertaining wrestler of all time, man? Um, I know what it was. What? What was it? You said you know what it was, right? I don't wanna say it on camera, but it sounded. Anywho, uh, very entertaining guy, very um, flashy personality. He he really had one of them personal personalities that lit up the room when he walked in there, you know. So we don't know what it was, but this video is going to help us find out a piece of the reasoning why he was so entertaining amongst the wrestlers, <laughs> uh, best wrestlers of all time. All right, let's get into it. Ready to get into it? Yep. Let's. Well, I ain't trying to insinuate or nothing. There's too many docs and stuff going on. <laughs> <clears throat> One, Not the black Rick Flair built a career on being one of the flashiest, See? craziest, and most charismatic wrestlers there ever was. Yeah, Tell them all you came here for a shot at the title, baby. Through every aspect of his character, he put on a spectacular show. You turn the camera off, and I'll be naked. <laughs> Let's look at this. Tell me why. Wow, Rick Flair was. He's on different t type he, of timing, man. Different, bro. Like completely, bro. Boxers. <laughs> yeah. In the ring. Yep. <laughs> what, look at the kids here, man. Like he ain't give a fuck, bro. <laughs> look at come this little girl right here. Like he ain't care, man. Hey, <laughs> who's holding her? Oh my god, that's a good question. <laughs> the world may never know. And character is just putting it loosely, since Flair was Flair twenty four seven. <laughs> For this video, we'll highlight the Nature Boys work in the room. <laughs> oh, 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 boy. Uh oh. <laughs> this is crazy. What? If he can never wrestle again, you can't do that. Settle down before you blow your pacemaker, kid. <laughs> Funniest one liners. Woo! Woo! Pacemaker, kid. Woo! 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 <laughs> An overall cultural impact. Yeah. The guy just mm. nails something and becomes a part of pop culture forever. But yeah. think about it, Floyd, Connor, they're all ripping off from him. That's yeah. where they got it. Today yeah, we look at that. what made Ric Flair the most entertaining wrestler of all time. Flair. Flair is especially no known for his wild outbursts. This is where he gets all riled up, screaming uh -huh. down the mic. You want to be a horseman again? You will die <laughs> a horseman by making our match at the Royal Rumble. Quit follow me around. You're not Quit making follow me around. <clears throat> you take my career, you try to shit can that, that didn't work. And you're a man that's gonna die of a heart attack. When uh -oh. you die of a heart attack, it'll be on your girlfriend, pal. Uh -oh. <laughs> Damn. Like he often gets red in the face during promo, that was a not bar. just from going mad or getting angry, but by actually busting himself open the yeah. hard way. You like blood? Yeah, he, he was different, bro. He's I'll different, play. bro. Uh -oh. Yeah. I have to wake up oh, every bad, day man. and look at this. God damn. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He, he was different. <laughs> <bro>. <laughs> If my mom would have walked in on me watching a segment like that, <laughs> yeah, it would have been over. You going to Bible me. school? Yeah, right then and there. But it's nighttime, mom. Gonna Don't get care. That, gonna get that out of you. Yeah, I'm getting that out of you. <laughs> so this is you watching, son. Shout out to your moms, man. <laughs> Rick is also known for his more out of pocket moments where he does something bizarre or obscene. Up to the ring apron and hollering at Flair. Whatever. Cancel nowadays for that. Eagle Rise, Eagle fights back then. I'll be damned. So you are a virgin at killing legend. Good kiss any woman a right here, even that fat one. <laughs> uh, Brother, watch this, girls. We're talking with someone that slept with Zendetta last night, pal. Once Zendetta's a girl horse, that's gonna 
that takes to get me going, brother. Whoa! No, 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 no. What? Are you kidding me? No. Regardless of his antics, oh, yeah. Blair's outburst is always made for an entertaining segment. Now it's Ric Flair, and y'all pay homage to the man. Woo! Who made this coat? Hugo Boss, Armani, you set up broke hell. My life's just starting, Jack. Who are you? Diver, tell me how to wrestle. Tell them all you came here for a shot at the title, baby. Masterpiece. <laughs> What I think of your book. You <laughs> wanna see it? Yeah. You wanna see it? Yeah. He was Watch this. Impersonating him. <laughs> you can't be me. You can't be like the nature boy. Yeah. I bro. am Rick Flair, the president of the United States. <laughs> oh, no, no. Whether he's cutting a promo or working a match, Blair that is kind of something you can do now. Just <laughs> hop in office. Oh Wouldn't have been surprised God. if Rick Flair. Flair bro. <laughs> Can you imagine Ric Flair running for president? At this point, and fuck. debating like this, fuck it, <laughs> fuck it, bro. But in his uh, fuck it, bro. his speech would have woo. Hey, people would have woo. <laughs> would have been doomed. <laughs> there is one of the best wrestlers at displaying emotion, mm -hmm. as seen from his tremendous facial expressions. Yep. <laughs> but I don't. Oh, oh, <laughs> so dirty. Aside from his crazy promos, Rick was chalk full of countless brilliant recurring one-liners. A mirror, mirror on the wall. Who is the first of them all? All I have to do is untie this robe, open it up. And say, what's causing all this? What's causing all this? Yeah, bro. It is the ladies the love me. Going today. Whether you I'm like it done. or you don't like it, <laughs> it's the greatest thing going today. Whether you like it <laughs> or you don't like it, he was on it the boy. best thing going. Today. Diamonds are Today. forever. Hmm. And so is Ric Flair. <laughs> Learn to love it. Learn to live with it. Yeah. Diamonds are forever. And so is Ric Flair. Woo! And I will never retire. Yeah, this is true. <clears throat> I'm not going to retire. Dang, you see the uh, I'll never mm -hmm. retire. camera? Flair's promos and overall identity was characterized by his iconic woo catchphrase. It started after Rick heard it said in the Jerry Lee Lewis song, Great Balls of Fire. Kiss me. Baby. Flair put more emphasis really? on the woo mm, and ran I didn't with even it as that. it started yeah, to get over, to where now it's one of wrestling's most recognizable catchphrases. Batch. Now sting! Woo! Everyone new coming in. <laughs> Everyone would wrestle each other once. And Steve, this isn't going to stay mine for a long, long time. Woo! Cut that camera. That's enough of that. <laughs> Must have cut that camera. Gene. Woo! Woo! Mean! Woo! <laughs> Gene! You're like literally the only human being that's connected to a sound. Yes. Yeah. You go, Ric Flair, and they go, Woo! Woo! That's right. Woo! Wait, that's right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, he caught it in the middle. One more. One more. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Woo! Oh, they picked up the jacket. Woo! 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 Imagine two niggas doing this. <laughs> yup. <laughs> we did. <laughs> Just whoa. Oh. Uh. <laughs> This is what make wrestling what it is, bro. You can only do this in wrestling, bro. <laughs> and it's, the, be, it's the entertaining it's factor, the entertain, bro. It's that's, the entertainment. That's man. entertaining, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Look, Look, he's coming out with his jacket. Calm down. I love you. Woo! All right. Woo! Woo! Other frequent tropes of Flair's promos are when he gloats about how rich he is. Beast! Mm -hmm. $600! Custom made! Back then, let's choose you! Some mini diamonds around your Rolex! 
We can't tell what time it is. I want oh, they a, a $15,000 Rolex. The best dressed man. Long limousines. Jet airplanes. Custom made clothes. My whole career, I've always done better than anybody else. From the clothes Rick wears to the vehicles he cruises around mm -hmm. in, all the way to the house he lives in. You're talking to the Rolex wearing, diamond ring wearing, wheeling, dealing, limousine riding, jet flying. Son of a gun! I got Mercedes Benz, Rolls Royce, the biggest house. On the biggest hill, on the biggest side of town, <laughs> a Lincoln Continental, a Mercedes, mm, a Rolls, a mm, or a Corvette, mm. living in the biggest house, on the biggest side of town. Mm. You got the biggest house, on the biggest hill, on the biggest side of town. He lives in the biggest house. You talking that talk, On bro. the biggest hill, on the biggest side of town, you live in big houses, <laughs> and you stand Boy, in the window talking, woo. In the thousand dollar suits. Wow. It's Profile. Styling and profile. Profiling, custom made. Custom. Now you're styling and profiling. <laughs> Woo! You're confused when you're. And we can't forget when Flair would brag about all the women he slept with and still kiss his friend. I'm just playing hot for days. <laughs> that is not an act. By on the way. Man, I just get. <laughs> Say it again, come again. That's not an act. We know. <laughs> that is not. An act. He not playing, y'all. That For was real. real. <laughs> that just the mannequin wasn't, but the, yeah, the nah, story was. the, yeah, nah, bro. Back then, wrestlers, you know, I mean, even not they even back then, now, but too. but back then, wrestlers, they were you know wrestling. considered larger than lives, like rock stars, bro. They so what bro. they going into these towns every week? This boy pre pre. <sighs> Um, Cameras, uh, Instagram, all that, bro. Them diseases. <laughs> <laughs> they were there. <laughs> they never went away. But no, nah, we talking about the, you know. Yeah, yeah, boy. Boys was. Don't get it twisted. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. The uncurables. <laughs> I actually find myself getting better looking every day of my life. Rick Flair. Oh yeah. Put that camera back on me. Those girls like looking at me, buddy. <laughs> Jet airplanes, oh, custom made clothes. And any woman in the world I want, <laughs> just like that. Look how he's I'm still the gonna kiss thing. the girls and make them cry. <laughs> oh, kiss all the girls in the neighborhood <laughs> and make them cry. Tony <laughs> Shivani, you tell your wife I said hello, brother. Oh, Box, that's a match right there, baby. I run the company now. <laughs> Woo! Girls, none of you can ever be first, but there's a whole bunch of you out there that might be next. <laughs> Let it be first, but a whole bunch of you might be next. Hey, yo. Remember and this, girls. None of you can be first, but all of you can be next. How old are you? What is going on I'm there? I'm a 60-minute man, baby. <laughs> Young guys are much faster, stronger, hey, and they're 60-minute men, baby. Wow! That's my a night with a nature boy was said to be like riding Space Mountain. You don't have to go to Disney World to See? find Space Mountain. Well. Then get on Space Mountain! Look at Look it's at one it. thing to get on! It's another thing to ride it! To ride! <laughs> space! I don't know. And you can ride Space Mountain all night long for it if you're 18 years old or over, you get on Space Mountain. You're disclaimer. You had to put that disclaimer I out there. Hey, the disclaimer. I am. <clears throat> Gotta be 18 or older, right? This just, right. just in case you guys. <laughs> just so you know. Just so you know. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> I'll be like this. Thanks, buddy. Please get me off. This Bro, listen to them back there. <laughs> if you wanted to overtake Ric Flair as the guy, the message was clear. To be the man, you have to, to beat, beat the, the man. man yeah. To be the man! You gotta beat the man! Woo! But to be the man, you gotta beat the man! And I'm saying, woo! Right here! Because remember, pal, to be the man! Woo! Yeah, you yeah. got mm -hmm. to beat the man! To be the man, pal! Woo! Woo! You gotta beat 
the man. To be the man, you gotta beat the man. I'm the man. One of Rick's most identical tropes is his iconic stroke. It's always been one of the funniest things played in. This is wild, bro. This is so wild. Yeah, money on the damn what ring team. What is he doing? What is he doing? <laughs> <laughs> He's going to go downstairs. I thought Hurricane was going to put her out of this, out of this collective misery. He's strutting in his underwear. Oh, Rick was on one, though. Yeah. He's going to get the rock. Here comes Rick. Comes the nature. He's styling the trophy. Yeah, yeah. He's wearing the ring and he's getting the rock. Hey boy, you gonna stop. Rick's matches were unique oh, in that despite being a top guy, funny. he spent nearly the whole bout getting bumped no matter who his opponent mm -hmm. was. Flair got thrown around the ring so much he had multiple signature bumps he yep. had to take. Like when he would get thrown upside down into the turnbuckle, only to push off and catch a clothesline on the yep. apron. A spot mm -hmm. that was borrowed from Ray Stevens. Flair, absolutely. That's some crazy bumps. Mm -hmm. see here doesn't know what bop, bop, to bop, do. Bop, 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 bop. Oh my gosh. He's got that bad back everybody knows about. Just to sell it. Down. That's the world Man. wanted to see, and you're watching it exclusively. Uh oh, pay per view. Flair is hot. Don't worry, Flair's still wanting to wrestle. He forced Mr. McMahon into the ring. Look at this. Hey, he's still oh. doing it. That caught in the face. He's got a lot to prove. <laughs> you got to give a lot of credit to wrestlers mm -hmm. still being able to do that at an older age. Yeah, yeah. Like, that that's, shit, shit's not easy to do, man. Especially going through multiple injuries and stuff and still mm -hmm. getting back out there and taking some of those bumps and hits. Mm -hmm. That You got to give you credit there. Yeah. How much can these men take, as we have said? Oh, he's upside down. Like, to, to do and that down the apron. The nature on a lot of shows. Flair spent most of his matches off. getting bumped around, so whenever he did get his licks in, it usually came courtesy of Chops. Yep. Oh, Woo! Was that a good shot? Sound brutal. Oh, yes. oh, Do it again. Oh. <laughs> Woo! Nowadays, anytime a wrestler does a chop, you'll hear yeah, the fans the chanting woo in response as mm -hmm. a tribute to the nature boy. Mm -hmm. I'll take, uh, oh, he got the, he got him wrapped in barbed wire. Mick Foley was a crazy one, too, man. Mm -hmm. For over 20 years, Rick would climb to the top rope, but rarely ever hit a move. Instead, his opponent grabbed him by the trunks and sent Nate flying yep. to the mat. Wait a minute. No, no, no. Yes. Perfect. Up. Look at this. Catch his fire in the corner. No, don't do it. Back don't off, do it. Oh. No. 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 no, don't do it. Here he goes, just like that. Oh. Sherry's down. And she hit him in a bit of disqualification. Oh. Once again, hobbling to the corner. Mm. Mm. Three quarters away the you doing that for many years, bro. Years of doing that, bro. Night in, night out, bro. No, a defiant 57 year old 57 at that time yeah. that, bro. this made for a true collector's item moment whenever flair actually performed a move from the top <laughs> oh my god but perhaps Rick's most iconic <laughs> trademark bump was his signature flare flop. This yep. is where Nate oh, would take yeah. some offense, walk or stagger for a bit, and then fall flat on his face. Woo! It began as a way for Rick to take less back bumps after he suffered serious injuries in a plane crash. Mm -hmm. However, it ended up becoming a fun go-to spot that the added some comedy crash. to the match. Yeah. Oh, Flair is really hurt. <laughs> <laughs> Just as taking care of his That's the funniest thing, though. It's the walk-off. Yeah, the walk-off. <laughs> 
Robinson. That is the <laughs> most hilarious <laughs> move. <laughs> the sale. We're down the aisle. But Nature Boy seems dazed here. I'm good, I'm good. I'm good. Look out. Oh, shots. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Watch Flair now. He's had enough. Oh, look at that. Talking away. Damn. Flair. And Flair in big trouble. He's kitchen. We would have been fighting for real. <laughs> oh! Where's the respect, JR? Oh no! this contest. Showing up. Oh, 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 But that doesn't mean he couldn't still put on an in ring clinic. Some yeah. of his best matches were lengthy, drama filled broadways mm -hmm. against the likes of Ricky Steamboat. Mm -hmm. Steam. Believe what chemistry. I've said a thousand times that Steamboat was my greatest opponent. We pushed each other and kept pushing and pushing. Good ref. Mm -hmm. We're in a great movement. Oh, both men are going to top. Steamboat's got him up. A slam. The player inside Crane 1 2. He made it. He's Those are my kind of matches. Damn. Flair's had plenty of bell to bell barn burners, but fans can also appreciate his ability to wrestle brutal, brawling bloodbaths. Yeah. Oh, oh my bloody, god. Bro. Oh. 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 Triple H the blonde hair being painted crimson red yeah. is an iconic image that has been a staple of countless classic matches. Oh, they all on his arm. Yes. Right in front of the legends. Mm -hmm. Some of Riggs' most famous bloody matches came against three of his greatest rivals Dusty Rose, Dusty Terry Rose. Funk, and Harley Race. Yep. Mm. The table is yeah. coming great. <laughs> Out of real wood. <laughs> oh my yeah. God. Damn. Kind of right to, after uh, that. Another way Rick's wrestling style differed from most was that he had a sole finishing move in the figure four leg lock yep. that rarely ever got him the win. It was illegal tactics that allowed him to find the most success in the ring. It's what mm -hmm. earned Flair the moniker as the dirtiest player Play in the, the game. game. The dirtiest yeah. player in the game. The man that has written the rule book on how to play the game. Flair knows it was a lucky move. He's <laughs> 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 Hey, Rose, Rose this hey, bro. begging on his knees only to perform an eye poke or low blow. Came on the air, no. Oh, he's saying it's you and me, player. <laughs> Heck of a matchup here on the special Eddie. 90 yeah, minute edition Eddie. of Night Show live on TNT. Oh. <laughs> the for the three count. Oh. Look at the red. What happened? Right there. Don't get too close. You want to back off just a little bit. See, he, he got an arm's length. Life She got it too. Karen, I don't know how much Rick. Oh. <laughs> 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 and Flair just. <laughs> Below the belt offense was one of Flair's crown yep. jewels in the ring. Nate had numerous different ways he could dissect an opponent's private parts. So he said, "Watch it here." Oh, the rough action! 
Oh, that little move there. That was too. He's in the corner again. Six on trying to ride him one more time. Oh! Hey, trying to ride him one more time. Oh, hey, hey, Rick also oh, oh. liked to cheat in matches he wasn't in. Doing so by running interference for wrestlers he was managing. Flair would frequently get called by the referees, mm -hmm. who then had no choice but to eject the 16 time <laughs> world champion from ringside. From there, Rick got crazy. <laughs> furious that he'd just been sent to the back. Hey, you went out. You out of here! But he gets so mad! Yeah. Swing that mug around. Get out of here! No, Rip was about to fall into it. Ric Flair's legacy has transcended pro wrestling. For as sure. seen from his cultural impact Absolutely, on sports man. and entertainment, this has led him to becoming mm -hmm. a pop culture icon, as seen from the rap videos that highlight his unmistakable mm -hmm. fashion and lavish lifestyle. It was very inspirational to myself and a lot of other hip hop artists because he represented what we wanted to be. <laughs> yeah, that's the wild part. Not to mention how pro sports team will use Rick's famous trash talk to hype them up before a game. Rolex wear. Yeah. <laughs> Diamond ring wear. Woo. Kiss dealing. Woo. Wheeling dealing. Woo. Limousine riding. Woo. Jet flying. Woo. Son of a gun. Woo. And I'm having a hard time holding these alligators down. <laughs> <laughs> then, they, then they lost. Hey, man. Because we number one. Uh, come on. <laughs> Just thought I'd you stupid put that in there. <laughs> His impact may have spread far beyond the sport. You know, mm -hmm. Ric Flair is a legend. Yeah. He's from Decatur. You can just, <laughs> yeah. uh, yeah. just dial him in profile. Sounds about right. <laughs> yeah, bro. And the whole crowd of 18,000 going, <laughs> Woo! Woo! We get two claps in a Ric Flair. Woo! And the home of the greatest athlete in the world today, LeBron James, the king. Woo! Having a hard time. <laughs> But the Nature Boy will always be remembered for his contributions to yeah. wrestling. He wooed audiences like no other. Ric Flair is forever. Now, if you enjoyed this facts. video, be sure to check out our similar video facts, on facts, WWE facts, announcers facts. who absolutely. Oh no, for <laughs> sure, for sure. Hey man, man Ric Flair, he transcended wrestling. Everybody knows who Ric Flair is, bro. Uh, man of entertainment, bro. Yeah, facts, man. <laughs> great video, great video. Nah, this is definitely dope and informative. I told you. Hey. <laughs> Didn't I tell you? You <laughs> was on it, man. They was having fun back then, bro. They was around a time where there's no cameras, there's no, Ooh. you know, no way for people to find out. That's why a lot of people now getting that use that time for bad, mm -hmm. getting caught up now. But mm -hmm. just imagine a time where everybody was just having fun, just living and coexisting and getting along. It's different periods, actually, because mm -hmm. yeah, we can get deeper. But <laughs> y'all know, um, bringing a, a face to wrestling yep. um, and bringing that excitement factor that made you just kind of want to be like the mm -hmm. guy on TV, he definitely had that. For sure. For he sure, had the flair. Sure. No pun intended. No. <laughs> but if y'all enjoyed the video, you already know what to do. Make sure to those like, subscribe. Let us know what else we need to be checking out, man. The link to the original video will be down below. So go support the homie and all the other videos because this is well put together. Mm -hmm. Definitely love um, how you pieced it up. But continue to spread <clears throat> love. Be love as usual. Keep God first. Catch you in the next. Peace. Peace. Now they hate on me cause I'm causing casualties But why are they after me? Deep inside they know they can't handle half of me